Hello YouTube, this will be a video on common tone modulation and how you can use it to compose. Here's a short cue I wrote about a minute using common tone modulation as the harmonic basis. Okay, now let's go ahead and see how the chord structures that you see being displayed in the chord track in Cubase actually support or were, cre were created using common tone modulation. Okay, the first chord we have is a C minor chord. Now, if you'll notice the A flat chord over C, if I just take the C and the E flat, and then move the G up to A flat, and we get the A flat over C. So notice the C minor and the A flat have two chords and or two notes in common. Now, from the A flat over C, if I take the E flat and move it up to F, and the A flat up to A. Now we have the F over C. So primarily going from A flat over C to F over C, they have just one tone in common, but it's still a common tone modulation. Then in order to get the F minor over C, if we just move the A down to A flat, we have a F minor over C, so they actually have the F and the F minor have two tones in common. And then going back to the C minor, <clears throat> there's our C minor right there. So we actually have one tone in common with the F minor and the C minor. And then moving along in measure five, we now go from the C minor to a G minor. So if I keep this G in the right hand fixed and then move the other two notes down to G minor, we see we do have the one common tone between the G minor and the C minor. And then going from G minor to D minor, I just bring, I have the common tone D. So I add the F and the A. So we have a D minor. And then from there we go to A, so I can get that by keeping my thumb on the A and then adding the C sharp and the E for the A. Then in measure eight, we're going to E over C sharp, or over G sharp, which is basically an E chord. So we're at the A. So the common tone they have is the E right here. So they have one common tone. Then going from E to E minor, all I do is just take the G sharp and move it down to G. So we have an A minor over G. Then we have a 
In order to get from E minor to B minor, we have the B in common. So if I keep the B and add the F sharp and the D, we have a, a B minor over F sharp. And then by keeping the F sharp on the left and moving the other two notes, we get to a G flat or an F sharp chord major. And then going to measure 12, we have a B minor again. So I just keep that F sharp. Or I could just go up to, move the F sharp up an octave and go to a B minor in root position. And then from there, so they have one tone in common, from the B minor to the G, they have two common tones, the B, the D. I keep the same. I take the F sharp and just move it up a half step. So there we have a G chord. And actually it's in first inversion. Or I could take the B minor in root position and keep these two notes and then go to the G in root position that way. In either event, they have one common tone. Then going from G to C minor. So there's your G, then your C minor. So you've changed two notes, but you have the G in common. Or I could even go from the G in root position and then move it up to the C minor. However, it is smoother to go from the G in root position to the C minor, sorry, C minor in second position, in the second inversion. And then in order to get to the A flat over C, I could just keep the C and the E flat and add the A flat on the top. And then going to the F over C, same as before, we just move the, the E flat and the A up to F and A. And then pretty much the chord sequence is the same as in the first 14 bars. So the rest of the piece is just a repetition of the chord structure. The only primary difference is there was a flute harmony on top, basically a little bit of counterpoint right here. So there you have common tone modulation in the chord sequence. And once you've established a chord sequence that you like, then you can add the melody using the scales corresponding to the chords. And that will be another tutorial on how to take the chord structure that we created using a common tone and then take that sequence based on common tone modulation and then add melodies to it. So this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music. If you like this video, please click like. And if you want to see videos coming out as soon as they're released, then please subscribe. And that'll wrap it up for today.